so I said, <laughs> so so you sort of slightly worrying to see these mm -hmm. fans and a lot of players families part of the crowd. So just wondering, has Joe said anything about how his family are? Was, was no, I mean I, I I only had a quick chat to the guys. I only came in this morning, but um, yeah, him, Romero, um, didn't seem to be any issues from from what I understand. I think, uh, as you said, um, there were some concerns, but from what the lads have told me, everything's fine. He flourished under Unai Emery at Royale. Um, I was wondering, have you looked at all how he played under Unai at times? Have you liked about his game there? And what can he bring that other performance advantage? Yeah, no, look, I kind of looked at Gio really well before I got here, um, both here at Tottenham and and he spells at other clubs. And, um, you know, you can see, yeah, he does have certain qualities. He, look, he's had a disrupted season for us. I mean, he's had a few injuries. He hasn't really had a clean run at it. He's, you know, one of a, a number of players where that's happened to. And um, But you can see, you know, technically he's, he's, he's a very creative player. He, you know, he works hard for the team. And um, as I said, he'll get an opportunity over the next few weeks to – to hopefully come in and make an impact. He, he, he would have been with Argentina's squad that won the World Cup where for injuries. He's a big name player, came from big feet. He hasn't played too much, as you pointed out, disrupted the season. What's he been like as a character? Has he been frustrated not getting so many opportunities? No, I haven't had an issue with, with Gio at all. He's, like I said, he's, um, you know, he's... He had a you know, really strong pre-season, then he got injured against Fulham, and which was his first start, and that kind of set him back for quite a while. And sort of he's been working his way back to fitness. Um, you know, I don't, I haven't had any issues with any of the players in terms of um, frustrations. All of them know that they're in the same boat. They'll, you know, they work hard at training. They'll get their opportunity when they when it comes, and when it comes, it's up to them to to sort of put in performances and and play at a level that continues to to allow them to to be part of it. Tom. Andrew, can I ask you about the Times report this week that uh, the FA are investigating the breach of agent rules with the transfer of the furniture? Mm. Yeah, and what? 2008, <laughs> you know? In 2008, I was, I think, maybe coaching Brisbane Rule, mate, so uh, fair to say I wasn't around. And, and really, if you think that that's kind of coming across my desk, I think people have keep a fair bit away from me at the moment because of what's really important and that is, uh, you know, we've got a big game on, on Sunday that, you know, obviously with with issues we've got around the team tomorrow, that's where my focus is. I understand that being personally also speaking to the press conferences. You know, yeah. To you. Yeah, and, and I think I've just answered it. That it's just not it's just not across my desk, mate. I, I'll, if for me to give you an answer with me, mean for me to sit down with whoever's doing the investigation, whoever's got all the information here, you know how many hours? I don't know if you've spent any hours doing that, but I don't have that time in my day to, to be sort of assessing those kind of issues. And and as I've always said with those kind of things, and this is not just about this issue, any of those issues, there are people responsible who, as you said, maybe I'm the spokesman, but I'm the spokesman for the football club in terms of the football. Um, I would hate it, absolutely, if you got a lawyer out here and he started talking about, what formation we're going to play on the weekend. So I'll just keep my mouth shut with those things. Not because of any other reason that, like I said, I respect the space that other people are in and I'm in. If you've got real questions about that, then there's probably better people to ask than me. Tom? Hi. Um, obviously, Jake Burson is out for an extended period. Obviously, we've now shown that he's not going to be attacking the burden and responsibility kind of fall onto other people. So he's one of those players who are looking to, Brendan Johnson obviously he scored against Wolves before the international break. We're looking to develop a sort of synergy and attacking relationship with some government. Yeah, but I think that's a case irrespective of whether, you know, Matters was here or not. I mean, that's why we brought Brennan to the club. Um, you know, we really think he's um, he's got some really great attributes to, to become a real sort of, um, you know, attacking sort of uh, avenue for us. Um, like I said, he scored last week. Again, he's, he's had a bit of a disrupted sort of introduction to life here. He's had a couple of injuries that have set him back and uh, – but, you know, he's he's healthy now, which is great. And, um, you know, not just him, but all the attacking players, you know, the, the way we play, there's there's a real sort of emphasis on them, you know, getting into those areas we need him to get into and, and, and sort of either create or score goals. And I think Brennan, like I said, has those attributes. He just needs to sort of, you know, now sort of get a run of games where he can show what he can do. Yeah, it's, it's one of the key reasons why he 
brought to the department why you could call on him now so that he can provide and be a regular golf school so both the same. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, you know, like I said, that's we were kind of looking for an extra sort of uh, um, attacking sort of player who can, you know, play wide, can play centrally as well. We've shown that with uh, Wales during the week. So um, I think that gives us some some good options in those areas. Thanks, yep. Mate. And uh, see you both for the times. Um, you conceded some goals out of your social 17 after the 90 minute line. Uh, do you think there was a positive correlation between your team's high demand and self play? And those three scenarios towards the end of games, and yes, you think you'll be settled um, in time um, goes with the club? Yeah, I mean, I think we've scored a fair few after 90, so the ledge is pretty even, I think. So, um, no, I don't think that's, you know, I think there's been circumstances. I mean, if you, you know, we conceded, you know, two against Tottenham, but that's not against Chelsea, but we were down to nine men, so there's a fair correlation there. And, um, yeah, the last game, Look, the last game we didn't play well. You know, we didn't deserve to win that game. Even if we had won it, I wasn't happy with the way we played. That was more of an issue for me than the fact that we conceded late. We just didn't. It was probably the first game this year where we just didn't look like the team I want us to be. Um, and some of that's understandable because obviously after the Chelsea game, we had to change a fair bit of the team, and there's guys coming in who hadn't played for quite a while. Um, you know, we scored early and we kind of went into our shells a little bit. I thought. Um, and, you know, analysing the game, like I said, walked away, yeah, disappointed. We lost, obviously, uh, particularly in the way we did because, like I said, after 90 minutes, we were still ahead. But I didn't like the way the team looked. That was more important for me. That's the stuff we need to sort of address moving forward. John? Uh, with the cells, so it's quite <coughs> unusual for somebody to be a regular the club. Helpless. But not regular, but it's a club. Yet, is this is time to shine? Yeah, look, I mean, I, like I said, you know, whether it's him or anyone else, I'll, you know, they're, they're here, they'll get an opportunity. And I think that's um, that's all you can do. That's, that's all you can offer. I mean, I don't, I don't think his national team form really, you know, is a direct correlation to here just like anybody else's. It's, you know, they'll get an opportunity. GL will get an opportunity. Others will get an opportunity, particularly over the next few weeks because, like I said, we're, we're down on numbers. We've got a fair few games between now, you know, um, uh, and and sort of the new year where we won't get anyone really back of significance in that time apart from probably Romero who will be available after the City game. So, you know, Gio and the other guys will, will get that opportunity. It looks really that you would be the sort of player who might be moved on in January either because he's not getting any game time and needs to go or always a bridge player so might as well get him because it's Madison's injury. Change that picture. No, because, uh, like I said, I, 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 I guess for, from my perspective, I, I just, you know, this is the time where I'm kind of get an opportunity to make all those assessments, you know, because I think if you lump it all into one and sort of look at previous um, sort of exposure here at the club and, and lump it into this, well, then that's not really relevant to me. I, it's more about what I see from now on and um, how the players feel themselves about, you know, playing the football that I want and whether they see themselves fitting into that. And um, also with Gio, he, like I said, he has had a couple of disruptions. I mean, like I said, he had a good pre-season. Fulham game was early in the year. I started him in that to give him an opportunity because I think he earned it. Then he has a setback. Then he's got to sort of work his way back into the team. But, um, you know, I think with all of them, it's, as I said before, it's not, you know, it hasn't happened by design, but I'm certainly going to get a good look at everyone. So there's no real reason why if people sort of uh, feel like they can make an impact well, over the next period of time, I'm sure they'll get that opportunity. Did you have those conversations with him? Said about snow playing Yeah, no, I, I, I mean, I, not with him specifically apart from in pre-season when I spoke to most of the lads, but, you know, there's constant feedback there about, you know, how we play and, where I see the guys um, sort of fitting in with that and um, and Gio's no, sort of no different to that. And as I said, it's up to sort of all the players now to, to when they get their opportunity to, sh to show what, you know, what they can do, whether that's starting or coming on, you know, because, you know, sometimes when you're coming on for that last half hour, as we've seen with other players, you've got a real chance to make an impact and then sort of further your case for, for more game time. Neil, do you want to finish this off? 
He didn't need to prove himself. I think maybe others, but I think it's just yeah. Look, it, yeah, I mean, I haven't come across you know, you know but um, I've been a great admirer of his of his coaching again because he's he's a guy who's you know always challenged himself, whether that was in his home country or um, you know he obviously came over here and you know the experience here didn't deter him in any way. You know, he didn't lose any belief in who he is as a manager, and I think sometimes it's easy to put a line through people. Um, you know, because it doesn't work out in, in sort of one experience. But for all of us managers, I guess we all go through that. It's it's how you respond to that. And, you know, he's he's been first class and you can see, you know, he's turned Villa around very, very quickly into, you know, you remember what position they were when he took over and, you know, it's been very, very they've been very, very consistent. And, um, you know, he's got a, he's always, you know, when I looked at his teams, they've always been very well organised, very well structured, clear identity, which is, it's always the things I look for, you know, because that tells me that there's a coach there, you know, apart from being a manager, there's actually a coach there because, you know, when you see a clear identity in a team and, and he's transferred that across, you know, three different countries, yeah, there's, there's a quality, quality manager. They've got pace there on front of their counter attack. So, what is that? Anything you can do particularly to counter that? Uh, look, again, we we kind of try and prepare for every team um, in terms of what potential threats they have, and and you know, the key for us is how can we sort of negate that, as you said, but within our own style of football. You know, we don't want to change. I right, said so we, we're still very much still trying to build here. You know, um, that's still got to. Yeah, as I said, I think to to the first question, we're, we're still in the phase where I've got to make sure that we stay on course. You know, don't don't get, you know, we can't get distracted by what's before us right now. It's about you know where we want to be at, at a certain point in time, and you know, good results can take you away from that, and bad results can take you away from that. And and for us, we we, we just stay got to stay on course. Okay, thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>